question here about how do we maintain a structure, a calendar structure, uh, a life structure that we've designed. If you are having a hard time maintaining the structure, keeping up with being consistent with it, there could be two reasons. One is that the structure it needs to be designed uh, with more alignment with your actual, um, you know, the, the demands of your life, essentially. So for example, if you, for those of you who have kids, right? Like if you say, well, I'm going to work, uh, you know, the, the, the kids are home at 3 p.m., 4 p.m. from school, 5 p.m., whatever. And I'm going to, I'm going to work from 5 to 6 p.m. It's probably not realistic because I don't know, I don't have kids, but once they're home, they probably have to take care of them and make them a snack or whatever. Um, um, and, or they need help with their homework or they need help getting to their homework or whatever it is. So that's an example. Or another example might be uh, you had structure to, uh, to do your, uh, to write a blog post at, uh, I don't know, um, 10 a.m. On, on Mondays or something like that. And 10 a.m., maybe you have like a mid-morning lull and you maybe even beat yourself up like, oh, why can't I write right now? But then you find that at 10 p.m., you have all this energy and maybe it's great writing time for you. So what if instead of 10 a.m., you structure your writing time for 10 p.m.? Now that's my bedtime. But, um, but some of you are night owls. And I know I, I talk about how we should all be early birds, but that's not realistic. <laughs> I think everybody has, has a different kind of chronotype and sleep patterns. And that's okay, as long as you're getting enough sleep, I, you know, what, that's fine. Um, but yeah, uh, so, so one is design. Design is an issue of uh, ongoing issue. I redesign my structure at least every two to three months, I'll make some significant change to my structure. Like, oh my gosh, okay. I thought this was great at, you know, 3 p.m. on Tuesdays, but mm, it really should be here. And if I put this here on Thursdays at 10 a.m., that means I got to put the Thursday 10 a.m. somewhere else. And so I, I redesign it every two, three months given because my life changed, you know, my life changes, my business changes. So probably with you too, it's not a one-time design because otherwise you're not taking into account your evolution and not just your evolution, but also you're, you're becoming smarter over time about how to align your design with your actual life and your rhythms of life, your rhythms of energy and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, and by the way, there's also um, someone brought up in the TLC group, uh, Ursa, I think it was started a thread about um, men, you know, those of you who with menstrual cycles, that's a real, you know, obviously a real thing you have to plan for, plan around So anyway, uh, I don't have menstrual cycles at this time. Um, so I don't <laughs> think about that, but those of you who do anyway, so, uh, one is design is the issue. The other issue is once you have designed a fairly good structure, right. Which takes, I mean, you're, it's always in progress. Design is always in progress. It's not like you're like, Oh, wonderful design. Now I'm going to follow that for the rest of my life. I'm going to follow this design right now, the best of what I can. And I'm going to take notes along the way go, Hmm, I was going to do this at 2 p.m. But then now this is the other part. So you got designing well. And then the other part is um, sort of the in, in the moment uh, work routine or motivational routine. And that is also something you need to learn about yourself. And so it's like, how do you, and this is a tricky part. How do you know? I don't feel like writing right now, George. It, it says writing on my calendar. I just don't feel like doing it. So is it a design issue or is it a motivational issue? That's, I don't know. That's up to you. Uh, really, it's up to you because it could be like writing needs to be at 10 a.m. versus 2 p.m. or 10 p.m. I don't know. So, so you, you need to experiment with the design, but you also need to say, I've designed this several times now. I said I would write at 10 a.m. Didn't work. I said I write at 2 p.m. Didn't work. Now I'm saying I'm right at 10 p.m. It's got to be one of those right? or 5 p.m., whatever. It's got to be one of those. So if I don't feel like doing it, then it's a motivational issue, right? Then, it's, then my question is, how do I motivate myself in the moment? For me, it's an energy reboot, right? I do energy reboot that, gets, that resets my mindset, resets my stuckness because I'm stuck all the time. I don't know about you. I get stuck all the time, all the time. 
I mean, those of you who work with me on Focusmate, you're like, what is, why is he so spastic? Like every five minutes, he's doing this thing, right? <laughs> because I get stuck. I get stuck. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do whatever I'm doing. I don't. Who wants to write? I mean, some of you actually enjoy writings. Who wants to build a website? I don't. Who wants to reach out to potential referral sources? I don't. Who wants to make a video? I don't. I, who wants to show up for a teach the TLC session? I actually do because I like you all, but and I like spending time with you. But that's like one of the only things I like to do. The only thing I like to do is to show up and hang out with you. That's the only thing I like to do. Everything done by myself, I don't want to do any of it. I don't want to do bookkeeping. I don't want to do writing. I don't want to do making an offer. I don't want to prepare my courses. I don't want to say I'm done preparing a course because a course could be prepared for another 18 hours and still not good enough. I don't want to do any of it. That's why when you work with me on Focus Man, you see me doing this like every five to 10 to 15 minutes because I've like got to get myself back into like, no, no, no. I know I don't want to do it, but it's going to help somebody. And they need to set boundaries around the stuff with myself. So let me do my reboot and let me get back into it. It's a battle every day. Now, I know it may sound so dramatic, right? <laughs> I'm a warrior. I'm <laughs> you know, you know, real warriors out there with their swords and their whatever, but I'm I'm here, warrior at the computer, right? No, uh, but it's it's a battle every every moment of every day. It's a battle. Except once I win the battle, the battle's won in every second. The battle's won in seconds at a time. Saying, no, I'm willing, I'm uninspired. I'm uninspired most of the day. I mean, to be honest with you, I'm not willing to do it. I'm not interested in doing any of the stuff I'm doing. George, I thought you're going to true livelihood, authentic business. You're supposed to do some stuff you enjoy. I'm going to write about this. Enjoyment and fun are at a much deeper level when we're talking about personal growth, right? When we're talking about impact and serving the world. Enjoying the fun is not at the video game, not at the eating junk food with delicious food, not at the watching entertaining videos like this. No, it's not, not entertaining. But <laughs> like we find a deeper enjoyment and fun through the meaning of service and the meaning of personal growth and the experience of it, the, the visceral experience of I wasn't interested in doing this, but I made myself do it. And wow, I'm so proud of myself. That's fun on a deep level. You see what I mean? That's meaningful, deeply, me a deeply meaningful life is seeing yourself grow because you didn't feel like doing it just now, but you did an energy reboot or whatever you do, tapping, EFT tapping, and then you got back into it and you found again, the love of service. You found again, the love of stretching yourself towards creativity. Everything I've written, everything I've written that you see me write, I didn't feel like doing it. Never feel like doing it. I never feel, if, if money were no issue, and if impact were no issue, I would be sitting on the couch, not in this room, but on my couch all day watching Netflix and Amazon Prime and Apple TV or whatever. All day, that's what I would do and be eating popcorn or an ice cream, both hands, one hand this and one hand that. All day, that's what I would do. But it wouldn't be a meaningful life, <laughs> right? So I think this is, the, this is the battle. This is the challenge. It's not fun at the surface level but it's deeply fun, right? At the, at the personal growth level. Now, of course, I, get, I, I battle myself every five to 10 minutes. And I also feel proud of myself every five to 10 minutes because I'm like, I got back into it. Look at me, I'm now writing, even though I don't like to write, even though I think I'm gonna get judged, even though I'm gonna embarrass myself, even though it's cringeworthy, half the stuff I write is cringeworthy. It's whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep writing. So, so there's the design issue and then there's the motivational how do you get your, how do you battle with resistance? How do you, and you, I, I don't, you don't want to, you don't want to be a warrior. That's okay. We could use a different analogy. How do you reparent yourself? How do you uh, connect with the creative muse? Whatever analogy you want to use, warrior, parent, you know, creator, take, pick your analogy. Pick your metaphor, but it's got to be one of those, or maybe there's a different one. So, so you have to find the design continual process, and you got to find the motivational method that works for you. For me, it's focus mate plus energy reboot, like every five to 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm stuck again. Otherwise, I don't feel like doing it again all the time, right? So I hope that helps. Uh, and I think it, it keeps life vibrant. Because I think if I were to give in to whatever I feel like doing, I think I would age even faster. 
<laughs> or at least I would be out on the street because I can't pay rent. You know, <laughs> that's, that's much more like it. Um, and I wouldn't feel the, the joy of making an impact. Anyway, I think I'm done with this topic. I think that's, hopefully that's helpful. And um, yeah, and so, um, and those of you who, who enjoy my writing, thank you. Uh, but you know that every time you, you read it, I'm battling. I'm battling every, every paragraph I'm battling, you know? And I think that you've heard that that's true for, for other writers too. Now, some of you are so lucky and go, writing comes so easily to me full. I'm like, you have the superpower. You should be writing all day long. I mean, you, <laughs> it's great. The only thing I could do all day long was doing these kinds of calls. I mean, that's, that's my superpowers. I don't mind extemporaneously speaking, I guess. But I, I used to be super shy. That's another topic. I used to be super shy. I used to be so embarrassed. I used to be bullied as a kid because I couldn't talk. That's a whole other topic. And look at me now. So I, I grew. And my writing, I don't battle as much anymore. I used to battle a lot more. Like every word I had to battle because I, I hated writing so much throughout my whole life. And then now it's, I'm only battling every two, two paragraphs I'm battling. So <laughs> it's gotten better over time. The battle gets easier. You don't, the battle doesn't end. You just get stronger. You just get better at it. You just become a better fighter. You become a better parent of yourself. You become a better creator. You become a better practitioner. That's it. But life doesn't get any easier, I found, right? So 